Jolie Brise. Jolie Brise is a gaff-rigged pilot cutter built and launched by the Albert Palmel Yard in Le Havre in 1913 to a design by Alexander Paris. After a short career as a pilot boat, owing to steam replacing sail, she became a fishing boat, a racing yacht, and a sail training vessel. 1923-1977 Post-Pilot History Bought by Evelyn George Martin in 1923, she was refitted and won the first fastnet race from seven starters in August 1925. In 1927, Martin sold Jolie Brise through an advertisement in Yachting World to Captain Warren Ferrier and his partner Dr. Brownlow Smith. An engine and an additional cabin were fitted at Morgan Giles's yard at Tainmouth. Abby Somerset a founder member of the Ocean Racing Club, as was Martin, purchased her in 1928. After competing in the Fastnet, Bermuda, and Santander races, he sold her four years later to Lieutenant John Gage, R&R. His ownership was only for a year, and it seems that in 1934 she was purchased by an American, Stanley Mortimer. Alterations, mostly to the living accommodation, were made at a yard in Palma, Majorca, and a Gardner diesel was fitted in Marseilles. After cruising the Mediterranean, and with war in the offing, Jolie Brise returned to Southampton and was put up for sale. She was bought by William Stannard, but requisitioned by the Royal Navy, which laid her up on a mud berth at Shoreham for the duration of the war. In 1945, she was bought by a syndicate headed by Lillian and Jim Worstell, and her name was changed to Pleasant Breeze. A voyage to New Zealand was aborted, and when she put into Lisbon, she was acquired by a Portuguese syndicate headed by Luis Lobato. Repaired and refitted, she was once again listed as Jolie Brise. For nearly 30 years, her home port remained Lisbon, but in 1975, partly because of the political situation in Portugal, she returned to the Solent 50 years after her first fastnet win. 1977 Onwards Current Role In 1977, she was bought in a collaboration between Dauncey's School, the International Sailing Craft Association, and the Science Museum to serve as the flagship of its sailing club and remains in that role. Between 1977 and 1991, she sailed extensively around European waters crewed by students from the school, including winning tall ships races in 1980 and 1986. The students were also involved heavily in the care and maintenance of her. In 1991, she entered a major refit at Gloucester Docks, which was completed in 1993. The same year she entered the fast-knit race again, 60 years after her first time in 1931. After a circumnavigation of the UK in 1994, she has sailed all over Europe and beyond with crews from the school, hosting other schools and groups of young people, and with commercial trainees. In 1996, she returned to Portugal to visit Luis Lobato. In 1997, she went north, venturing 200 miles inside the Arctic Circle, and in 2000, 2009, and 2017, she sailed across the Atlantic to the Bermuda, USA, and Canada. In 2019, she visited Iceland and the Faroe Islands for the first time. In 2003, she was bought by Dauncey's school outright. The boat is currently skippered by Toby Maris and has the capacity to carry up to 12 students for local and international cruising and racing trips. Specifications. Sparred length 22. 50M73 FT10 in. Length on deck 17. 6M56 FT. Load water line length 14, 63 M48 FT, beam 4, 63 M15 FT2 in, draft 3, 10 M10 FT2 in, displacement 44 tons, crew up to 3, 
trainees up to 12. MCAMG in 280 operating area, category 0 unrestricted. Fastnet races. The Fastnet race is a biennial offshore yacht race off the south coast of the United Kingdom, named after the Fastnet Rock, which the race course rounds. It is considered one of the classic offshore races. Jolie Bryce won the inaugural Fastnet race, then called the Ocean Race in 1925, in a time of six days, 14 hours, and 45 minutes as part of a fleet of seven boats. At the post-race dinner in Plymouth's Royal Western Yacht Club, the new Ocean Racing Club later, the Royal Ocean Racing Club was formed and its first Commodore appointed. Jolie Bryce won the Fastnet again in 1929 and 1930, again skippered by Martin. She is currently the only vessel to have won the race three times. She also competed in the 2013 Fastnet race, crewed by students from Dauncey's School and the Ellen Mac Arthur Cancer Trust, finishing 277th in fleet of 294 boats with a time of 4 days, 19 hours, 11 minutes and 4 seconds. Blue Water Medals The prestigious Blue Water Medal was inaugurated by the Cruising Club of America in 1923, reward meritorious seamanship and adventure upon the sea displayed by amateur sailors of all nationalities that might otherwise go unrecognized. Jolie Bryce's two Blue Water Medals were both awarded for her conduct in the Bermuda race. The first, in 1926, was to Evelyn Martin for double transatlantic crossing, including Bermuda race. La Haver pilot cut her 56 feet oar. April 3, 1926, from Falmouth. Her second was awarded in 1932 to Robert Somerset without date for remarkable feat of seamanship and courage in rescuing all but one of eleven man crew of burning schooner Adriana in the 1932 Bermuda race. On the first night of the 1932 Bermuda race, the schooner Adriana was sailing into brisk southwesterly winds when the heat from the coal stove in her cabin ignited some oilskins. The uncontrollable fire spread so rapidly that the decision was made to abandon ship. Three miles ahead of Adriana was Jolie Bryce, owned and sailed by Henry Robert Summers Fitzroy de Vere Somerset, known afloat as Bobby. His crew included Herbert L. Stone and the famous American racing helmsman Sherman Hoyt. In a feat of seamanship, Somerset, at Jolie Bryce's long tiller turned the engineless, heavy displacement vessel around toward the burning Adriana, whose crew was struggling to launch a small boat, and heave the spinnaker pole into the water to serve as an improvised float. As Adriana's helmsman, Clarence Cozily, held position, Somerset brought Jolie Bryce alongside under sail. The yacht's rails banged together, their upper rigging tangled, and Jolie Bryce's tarred dead-eye lanyards were charred. Ten of Adriana's crew of eleven jumped across to the cutter's deck. Only the dutiful Cozily was left at the helm of Adriana. The two yachts were several feet apart when he finally let go the wheel and made his leap, only to tumble into the gap. Sherman Hoyt desperately threw him a line, but Cozily's heavy clothing drew him under. After helping to save ten lives, he lost his own and is the only fatality in Bermuda race history. Bermuda Post Office Stamps A part of her participation in the Tall Ships Atlantic Challenge 2009, to commemorate the event, the Bermuda Post Office Philatelic Department issued a set of stamps depicting six of the ships involved, including the Jolie Brys. Thames Diamond Jubilee Pageant Jolie Bryce was one of a number of prestigious vessels to be moored along the route of the Thames Diamond Jubilee Pageant to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth Roman II on 3 June 2012. Due to her size, she was not part of the flotilla of vessels and was instead moored with other vessels at St. Catherine Docks. Jolie Bryce Pub 
In May 2018, Weatherspoons opened a pub in Tainmouth, Devon, and named it the Jolie Brise after the boat, which had been refitted in the town before her first fastnet win in 1923. Jolie Brise visited the town for the opening of the pub. Chronology 1913, built in Le Havre by Albert Palmel. 1923, new owner E.G. Martin. 1925, winner of the first fastnet race. 1926, fifth in the Bermuda race and awarded Blue Water Medal. 1926, finished third in fastnet. 1927, new owners W. Ferrier and W. B. Smith. 1927, retired from fastnet after reaching the Lizard. 1928, second in the fastnet race. 1928, new owner HRSF de V. Somerset. 1929, winner of the fastnet race. 1929, winner of the Queen of Spain's Cup the First Santander. 1930, winner of the fastnet race. 1930, First across line in Santander, but second to Ilex on corrected time. 1931, competed fastnet. 1932, competed Bermuda retired after rescuing crew, save one of Adriana who abandoned because of fire. 1932, new owner J.F.B. Gage. 1934, new owner S. Mortimer. 1938, New owner, W. Stannard. 1945, new owner, syndicate led by Lillian and Jim Worstell. 1946, new owner, L. Lobato, and partners, Vaz Pinto, principal owner. 1955, new owner, L. Lobato, sole owner. 1977, new owners, the International Sailing Craft Association in Association, with Dauncey's School Sailing Club and the Science Museum. 1980, Winner Tall Ships Race. 1986, Winner Tall Ships Race Newcastle to Bremer Haven. 1993, Refit Complete Jolie Brise's First Fastnet since 1931. 1994, Circumnavigation of UK. 1999, Second in Tall Ships Race. 2000 overall winner of the Tall Ships 2000 Transatlantic Race. 2002 overall winner of the Tall Ships 2002 Transatlantic Race. 2005 participated in the Trafalgar 200 Celebration. 2008 first in class and fleet in Tall Ships Race Liverpool, UK to Malloy, Norway. 2011 First in class and overall winner of the Tall Ships Race 2011. 2015 First in class and overall winner of Tall Ships Race 2015.